Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. Here's my email address if you ever have questions or concerns. I saw uh, a post on one of those uh, adjuster groups and uh, they were asking how people map their claims. There's a lot of ways of doing it. I'm going to show you my way. Like I said, you can use Xactimate, you can use uh, their portals. Most of the uh, IA firms have their portals that you can do their mapping, but uh, let me show you how to do my stuff. I've created a file in Excel. So I've created all these files for you all so that I can show you how to do this. So let's say this is my first claim. I've actually have already put the first one in here. Now, but I want to show you how I put them in here. So if I right click, I'm in, I'm in Xactimate. I'm going to hit print projects. Then I've created an Excel file with tokens so that it puts all this information for me. So if I double click here, then this is number two. So I'm going to hit control C. I'm going to open up my file that I will be using. Okay, so I hit control B. Now, what I do want to do is go ahead and close that file because um, then you're going to do the next one. Okay, so now there's number two, so we'll do number three next. Okay, so we'll do number three, right click, print, print project. This usually goes faster. Seems like every time I'm trying to teach, uh, it goes a little bit slower. So again, control C, then open up the file that I'm using, hit control V. Close my file. It's real important that you close this file every time. And tell it not to save. Go to Xactimate, but you have to make sure that this part is closed. Then I'm going to go to number four. Right click, print, print project, document, double click. On that file, hit uh, Control C, place it in there, Control V, make sure you close that other one, Not don't save, go to Exact Mate and close this part. So we're going to go to number five. I'm going to go in, um, <clears throat> print, print project, go to document. Uh, we're going to go in and um, use that same file. Control C, go back, hit Control V. I'm going to pause this video and when I'm done with this, I'll come back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I created this file. Now, this is real important. What you want to do, it, it's an Excel file. When, when you save this Excel file, make sure that you save it as a CSV UTF-8, uh, okay? It has to be saved in that format. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay, so um, I'm going to hit save. Okay, now, so the next thing you want to do is go into Google Maps, okay? 
So we're going to go into Google Maps. <clears throat> and what you're going to do is you're going to go to, to it's called, uh, make sure you go to, to this website right here, www.google.com forward slash map. Uh, well, it, and then all this is because it's me, but you stop at uh, maps. But so what you do is you uh, create, you're going to create a, a new map, okay? What you're going to do is import that Excel file. You can actually drag it here, or you can select from uh, wherever you saved it, and here it is right here. Okay, so what you're going to do is on this part, you're going to hit address, city, state, zip, and then you're going to hit continue. Okay, then depends on how you want to identify the, the, the file, you're going to select whatever else is inside that Excel, and I'm going to put insert. That way it puts the name of the insert. And then I'm going to hit finish. And now it's mapping it. See right here, it's working. So there's the map, guys. That's how. how. Now there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. So now let's say that you didn't have a place, a, a hotel that you uh, were going to, uh, you know, like I'm in Texas. These claims are in, uh, let me see, they are in Florida. Here's, here's the address, Pensacola. Okay, so one thing you can do, you see here, those little things you see there, those, those are the claims. So if you hover into each one of those, look right here to the left, it's gonna, so that would be the insured name. I did, I just picked, you know, insured name one, two, three, blah, 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 okay? So another thing you can do is you can click on them and look what happens. It'll give you the claim number, the telephone number, the app, you know. Now, whatever you put in this file, it'll, it'll bring it all in there, okay? So um, you can put his telephone number, you can put a zip code, you know, email address, whatever you want, but, you know, you gotta know how to put the stuff in there. But anyway, so, so now, I don't have a place that I will stay in. I don't have a hotel, right? If I click right here and I type, let's say, extended stay, E X T E, you know, extended stay America. If I click here and do a search, now you see those those green, uh, but uh, the green drops. Uh, Now, I'm making this smaller. So the first one that it found is right there. You see, there's an extended stay. So that's where you would want to stay because that's pretty close. And, and so let's say that you want to say, well, let's see how far this thing is, right? You see this little ruler right here, measuring uh, distance? I can click here. And watch how far it is to my first one. It's six miles. And to the furthest one, if I go down here, you got 10 miles. Okay, so um, uh, you can right click or click here and then it, it uh, erases it. Okay, so so you're gonna you're gonna get your hotel there, right? Now the first one you want to work, you can go out. The furthest or the closest. It all depends. If you have a lot of experience, you probably want to work far. If you don't have the experience, you want to start with the first ones. So, so um, we're gonna pretend that um, we're, we're we're new at this. So the first one that I would want to try to schedule is this one right here. Okay, so. If, if I click here, 
excuse me, I have to hit, hit, hit that button. It, if I click here, you see, it's number 10. So now I would have two monitors if I was doing this. Well, I always work on three monitors, but it, but I want to hit my, um, uh, uh, it's a control key, but uh, it's called the uh, window control. So if I, if I hit the window and hit my left arrow, it positions this map to the left. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that Excel file. Not that one. Uh, don't, okay, so it's on my desktop. Now watch this, guys. If I want to go directly to the desktop, if I hit my Windows D, it closes everything. Now I can open up my um, this this file. Now if I hit Windows right, you see what it did? It placed it on the left. And now I can go ahead and put that other. Uh, now look at that. See, it has it set it. It put it one on the left and one on the right. Okay, so now, so th this is what I would do. I would go in here. I, I, I would uh, insert a column. That way, it'll be easy for me to map, map this. So look, the first one, the closest one, is number ten. You see, when I hover around here, now. So here, give me a second here. I'm gonna. Okay, so number 10, uh, actually I didn't do number 10, so, okay, so we'll go with number 9. Oh, well, let's see what the next one is. This one's the next one, number 6. So number 6 is the first one I want. So I'll go right here to number 6, and I hit 1, okay? So um, let me move this over a little bit. So the next one, this is, you know, I want them real close to me right so the next one would be this one so it would be number four would be number two now you know this sounds like a hassle but I'm telling you it's easier spending 10 minutes maybe 20 minutes the most to do this I'm explaining it that's why it's taking a while but when I do it I do it real quick or you could be inspecting this and then going down here, then going down here, then going back. I mean, you could spend hours. This way, you're going to go from, I mean, it'll be real, real quick. Okay, so so we've done uh, this one here, which is number four. Now, here's another one right here, number two. So number two, we can put that as number three. Okay. And then number four, uh, number four, we can, we got it as number two, okay. So number five will be number four. Okay, so we have four here. Then we have this one that's closer. So number seven would be number five. Okay, and then, so you know, you, you get the idea, right? So, I said this was number six, this number seven, and then this would be number eight. Oops, number eight and number nine. Okay, and then we'll say that's number ten. So now, so now all I have to do is select this stuff. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to data sort by column A. Okay, and now it placed it in order. This is the first one, second one. Now I'm actually ready to start calling these people. I'm going to try to set this one as on my first date, uh, the first one, then this one, then this one, and those, all of these things are going to be in order. Okay, so, um, but that's how I do my mapping, guys. There's a uh, uh, there's actually a faster way that I actually do, but I can't show y'all because I would have to use exact analysis to do this uh, transferring all this data for me. But I'm not, I can't do that because there's a lot of information that I can't put out on the internet. 
I was able to create this, you know, uh, by just creating fake names and addresses. So, um, in a way, this is how I do my mapping. And like I said, it might take 10 or 15 minutes, but you can spend hours, especially if some of these claims are two, three hours away. Okay, guys, this is, uh, that's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching my video.